I'll take it out for you guys. Um, I haven't used this. I can already see it starting to patina a little bit. So I have the minus base plate with uncle on it. I can't remember exactly what kind of release this was. If it was like an army type reference on like the, the nicknames on these, but this being more hefty, um, that's a very close shave. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. Um, we'll see if I like it. Um, I'm pretty much covered on safety razors now. I mean, I really don't think I'm gonna be getting much more. But you know what, just for the heck of it, there's only really like a couple spots here. Let's just take that um, winter blade out and we'll throw it in the carbon just for a quick little cleanup pass. Let's see how we do it on time. All right, pretty quick shave. So just give me a quick second here. So yeah, like I said, like this, this graphite, um, one thing I told Sean was I think that the knurling for some reason comes out a little bit sharper on this. Um, the knurling on the copper razor that'll put this in seems like it, it's got good, good knurling. wasn't anticipating doing this, but that's all right. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the skin's really, really consistent as far as, you know, besides these little weepers, there's a really, really smooth razor. So yeah, we'll give this a quick little pass and then we'll be done. Just do a little bit. Um, at some point next month or two, I'm sure I'll get another video in, but um, been playing around with the idea of getting a couple another set of brushes. So this year, I think I'll end up getting um, a Thater silver tip, um, a couple more of these Manchurian silver tips, and then um, probably a Varlet. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of into, into the new razors um, that I have from Carbon, and that should have me set for for quite a while and then we'll um, we'll see how I like the uh, the new brushes in the rotation But yeah, I just staying real busy with just doing different ceramic stuff. This whole this whole last like four months has just been nothing but just doing um, ceramics classes, making ceramic work. Um, I attended a two week long workshop and conference uh, um, early in March and then did two workshops in the last two weekends. So I've been staying real busy and um, this year is just gonna continue to kind of be like that. Just lots of um, new work, new firing uh, styles, and then just working on different glazes and different forms. So things are going really good. I uh, hope everyone's been enjoying their, their year been in, enjoying their shaves. Um, while I'm on camera real quick, I'll get my cocoa butter. I'll probably be getting a few new soaps for this year. Um, I want to get a couple of the new Etho soaps. Um, probably the, the Tonka bean soap. So like I said, just get a little bit of the cocoa butter. 
Um, I want to try out possibly his, let's say Mandarin Fumo. It's like a Mandarin citrus and smoke or tobacco. So that one sounds good. Um, I'll probably be getting the SV Tundra Arctica 4.3. And then I'll probably get another new puck of the Felce Aromatica from SV. And then, oh man. Thought there was one more soap. But maybe later this year, more likely next year, I'll get into doing my own shave soap. I had my, oh, here we go. So I'll finish with the SV Colonia Aftershave. When the weather is kind of hot here in SoCal, this always seems to be kind of like the, the most obvious choice to kind of make a dent. So probably get a little bit of redness or a little bit of singing. And then I've got, not in here, but I have some Ethos Sensitive Skin Serum, and that has his version of Colonia um, in that. So although it won't be on camera, that's what I do as far as my aftershave as well. So, so that's my early thoughts on the, the um, Carbon DLC, um, the Graphite. The only two other things I think I'll address real quick is this coating. Sean had kind of mentioned that um, he's curious to see how the coating holds up. I know that um, the only other DLC razor I've tried was the uh, Razor Rock Lupo DLC, and that one I didn't really like the coating. Um, I think it worked, but it just kind of had a weird texture that I think it made it feel like there was more drag than there was slickness. Whereas this, this has, I think, a more conducive coating to what's supposed to feel more slick. Um, it feels like it's smooth. He also said that it should be more scratch resistant. So um, I did kind of joke with Sean and say that I do, um, not that I plan, but I anticipate at some point I will drop this somewhere. And he's curious to see if the coating holds up. The patina or kind of oil, I don't know, kind of oil and water type, I don't know, wash. I, I'm kind of having a hard time to describe the words, but it's, it's you know, a little bit iridescent. Um, that happens on the, the base plate, especially on the underside of the cap, if that's picking up. So Corey on Instagram, I'm sure some of you guys know, I forget, is it shave? nifty shave niffy he does the um different anodizing on wolfman's and the carbons so that was kind of my thought was at some point this year i'll probably get you know my uh my favorite carbon razor sent to to um to him to anodize and i think with this dlc coating it actually kind of fulfills what i what I want as far as like a colorful razor. So I don't know, I may change my mind, but um, I guess just to finish, I've got five other blades real quick that I'll mention I probably will focus on testing this year. The um, Gillette Winners, I like these. I think those are really good. Um, the Gillette 7 O'Clock um, Super Platinum Black, those work good for me. We've got um, China Gillette London Bridge. I really like these. Um, Kai's are a long time favorite. Those are what I consider my sharpest razor. Um, this is a step down in sharpness, but still smooth. The um, Blue Persona Platinum Chrome. These I think are the Israeli ones that got packaged in Mexico. And then these are the Wilkinson Sword English made versions of the London Bridge. These I think are a little bit sharper, maybe a little bit smoother, so to speak, than the other London Bridge. Um, but those are those are like the ones that I think are really my main ones that I'm kind of testing in different razors. Um, really good shave. Little bit, um, I don't want to say razor burn, but 
you know, for two days beard growth, kind of doing that two and a half pass um, with a fairly efficient razor. This is a close shave. So anyway, I'll see when I get uh, another shave on video in, but I hope everyone's doing well. And if you got any questions, leave me a comment or shoot me a message, but I will chat with you guys soon. All right, take care.